Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about the rules of multiplying positive and negative integers. So what's going to happen is you're going to follow along with me for the first two pages of the notes, and then there'll be some problems for you to try on your own, and then at the end you can see how you did. Alright? So here's the good news. The rules for multiplying integers are pretty easy. Okay, And if you look at this chart over here, it really sh shows it all. So anytime you're multiplying two integers that have the same sign, so for example, a positive times a positive, okay, th those are the same sign, right? Well, the result is always a positive. So a positive times a positive is a positive. But also, when the signs are, are negative, like a negative times a negative, because these are the same, okay, it results in another positive. Now, when the signs are different, that's when you get a negative sign, okay? So a positive times a negative is a negative, and then also a negative times a positive is a negative. All right, so the key thing is when the signs are the same for two integers, you know it's going to be a positive product. And when the signs are different when you're multiplying two integers, you know the sign that the product is going to be a negative. So here we have uh, three times four. Well, it's a positive times a positive. So we know a positive times a positive is going to result in a positive. So three times four will just give us a 12. And the next one we have three times negative four. Well, here we have a positive times a negative. And remember, multiplication really means groups of. So we have three groups of negative four. So that would be like negative four plus negative four plus negative four. So that would result in a negative 12. So a positive times a negative will give us a negative, which in this case, again, is negative 12. All right, let's turn the page. And let's take a look at these, OK? And again, you really need to understand and really memorize this, this little chart here. All right. So when the signs are the same, it's going to be positive. When the signs are different, it's going to be a negative. So here we have negative 5 times blank equals 15. So we're ending up with a, a positive, which means this has to be a negative, right? Because a negative 5 times a negative 3, and that's going to be our answer, will equal 15. Here we have negative 10 times a number is negative 40. Well, to have a negative product, one has to be negative, one has to be positive. So this is going to be a positive 4. Now here we have uh, negative 2 times negative 3 times blank. And it's, it's really important to always multiply two numbers at a time. So negative 2 times negative 3, well a negative times a negative is a positive. So this is going to be a 6. And then 6 times what is negative 36? Well, it has to be a negative, so it's going to be 6 times a negative 6. That's our answer. Up here, we have negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1. And again, you need to tackle this two problems at a time, or two numbers at a time. So negative 1 times negative 1 will be a 1. And then we have a 1 times a, now a negative 1. And a positive times a negative is going to be a negative and then finally we had this negative 1 times this last negative 1. So a negative 1 times negative 1 gives us a positive 1. And then the last problem we have is 9 times negative 3 times blank is 27. Well 9 times negative 3 is negative 27. And negative 27 times what will give us positive 27? Well, this has to be a negative 1 because a negative, negative 27 times negative 1 gives us a positive 27. And there it is. So now that you understand the rules for multiplying positive and negative integers, why don't you pause the, the video and, and try the your turn now problems. And when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say we do these practice problems. So the first problem was negative six times blank equals 18. So we have a negative times a mystery number equals 18. So because we end up with a positive 18, I know this has to be a negative, right? So that's gonna be a negative three. Uh, down here, we have negative eight times question mark equals negative 80. So this has to be a positive number. That's gonna be positive 10. And down here, we have negative five uh, sorry, negative 1 times negative 5 times blank equals negative 20. Well, the product of negative 1 times negative 5, 
that's a positive 5. And then now positive 5 times what, the question is, equals negative 20. And that's going to have to be a negative 4. So that's the answer for that one. Here we have negative 2 times negative 3 times negative 4 equals what number? Well, negative 2 times negative 3 is a positive 6. And then we multiply the positive 6 times the negative 4. Well, a positive times a negative will give us a negative 24. And then finally, we have negative 4 times negative 3 times question mark equals negative 24. Well, negative 4 times negative 3 gives us a 12. So I know this second number has to be a negative, right? Because we end up with a negative 24. So this is going to have to be a negative 2. Because 12 times negative 2 equals negative 24. And there it is. All right, how'd you do?